Alrighty. <clears throat> uh, we're going to take a look at another problem that involves the triangle inequality theorem. Now, previously to this, we had the three sides of a triangle, and we had to decide, well, we had three lengths, and we had to decide whether or not they could form a triangle. Now we're just given two lengths, and we're asked, what's the range of numbers, or range of lengths, that could be the third side of this triangle? So let's look here, for example, 11 and 9. Let's say, here's our side that's 11 units long. And let's say that here's our side that's 9 units long. And say we're going to fold it all the way over until they touch. If they fold it all the way over until they touch, there would still be a little bit 11 minus 9 equal to 2. The other side would have to be at least 2 units long. Now, of course, that wouldn't actually be a triangle, so I shouldn't say at least two units. It would have to be more than two units, because if we're nine and two exactly, they'd fold right in on the 11, and it would just be a straight line. So it would have to be just a little more than two, right? So the side, let's call it, uh, I don't know, C, would have to be greater than two, bigger than two. And that's 11 minus nine. On the other hand, this were our 11, and the 9 were over here, and the whole thing were folded out flat, we would need a side that was 11 plus 9, or 20 units long, to stretch across. Now, of course, again, that wouldn't quite be a triangle, because it would just be a flat line. But if I inch these both up just a little bit, and make this a little less than 20, then we would have a triangle. So C has to be less than 20, which is 11 plus 9. Overall, C would have to be greater than 2, oops, sorry, greater than 2 and less than 20. And we got the 2 by going 11 minus 9 is less than our third side C, which is less than 11 plus 9. So the way to find the range of the third side is you take the two sides you have, find their difference, and then their sum. And your third side has to be between their difference and their sum. Let's take a look at the one next door. In this case, 12 minus 9 would have to be our, our lowest number or actually lower than our lowest, our C has to be bigger than that, and bigger than 12 plus 9. So we've got 12 minus 9 is 3 to 21. Right, somewhere between 3 and 21. Keep in mind, it can't be 3, and it can't be 21. It could be 4, 5, 6, dot, 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 19, 20, but not 21. Of course, it could also be 3.5 or 20.7 or anything that's right up to 21 or right down to 3. All right? Could be 3.0000000000000001. That would be okay but it can't be exactly 3. So that's to be anything bigger than 3 and less than 21. Do one more. We have two 6's. Well, 6 minus 6 has to be less than C, which is less than 6 plus 6. So you've got 0 to 12. So our range for our third side is somewhere between 0 and 12. Let's do one more. 12, 7. So we got 12 minus 7. So C has to be bigger than that. But it has to be less than 12 plus 7. 12 minus 7 is 5. 12 plus 7 is 19. So C, our third side, has to be between 5 and 19. So, just remember, if you have to find the range of the third side, 
it's either going to be larger than the difference of the first two sides or well, and smaller than the sum of the two sides. But it can't be exactly the sum or exactly the difference. It has to be something bigger than the difference, smaller than the sum. All right. Good luck.